All right, so I actually wasn't planning on making this video, which is why I'm standing up, kind of moving around, but Alma made an announcement recently and said that they're getting rid of the Zoom accounts that they were giving to people. And people are really upset because people are using this Zoom account to run their private practices. They have all their links set up, everything runs well, Zoom works well, and now Alma's saying we're getting rid of it. So people are really frustrated. And that's exactly what I want to talk about today. What is this going to look like for those of us losing our Zoom accounts? What are the options moving forward? And how do we make this change as smooth as possible? But before we do, if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe down below. Hit the thumbs up button. Only if you want to though, there is no pressure. I cannot hold this camera up anymore. Let me switch positions. All right, so first things first is that we are obviously gonna be losing our Zoom account. Now, Zoom is a great platform. It works really well. Most people know how to use it. It's got some great features, but this is really not upsetting because we're losing access to a good platform. It's upsetting mostly because this is gonna be disruptive to our practices, to our clients. If you're using Zoom, you probably have links for each of your clients and your clients by now probably know what links to use. And every week they just click that link and go into their session. And now that we'll be potentially losing this access, it's gonna be disruptive for both us and also the clients. So first off, let me just validate. Yeah, this is an annoying change. It's a big change and it is potentially disruptive. With that out of the way though, what are we going to do? What are our options? All right, so let's actually go straight to the source. I have the email pulled up here on the screen. And what we're seeing here is that Alma is actually introducing a new feature called Alma Telehealth. So they're not just getting rid of Zoom access, but rather they're replacing the Zoom access with their own telehealth feature. This is partly good because in some regard, they're not leaving people high and dry with just no telehealth access. And that being said, it's still gonna be work to transition your clients to this different platform. They're gonna have to get used to using it. You're gonna have to get used to using it. There will be a learning curve. Now, I don't work with Alma. They don't sponsor me. They don't pay me. I am totally neutral when it comes to this and I've never used their telehealth feature. So I don't know how easy it's gonna to be to use and how easy it will be to learn and pick up on for both the client and the therapist. So that's one option for what to do next right there. We can just use the Alma telehealth tool instead of Zoom. And the other thing is, if you look at this email, Alma is saying that they will actually take the links that you have in Zoom and automatically translate them to an Alma telehealth link. Now, what that will look like, I really don't know. From this email, it seems like it will be seamless on the therapist's end. I imagine that all your Zoom links will then be inside of Alma and their telehealth platform, so there won't be much you need to do in terms of converting old links to new links. It seems like it will be done for you, and that's great news. But some people don't want to use the Alma telehealth platform. I mean, what if that's you? What if you want to use Zoom? What if you don't want to use Alma's telehealth platform and you want to use something else? Well, then we have a couple of options. The first is to continue using Zoom. And Alma says that they're gonna terminate the Zoom accounts starting July 22nd. However, they're saying that they will pay for a personal Zoom account for up to 90 days. This is decent, but at the end of the day, if you wanna use Zoom, you're gonna end up having to pay for it yourself. And from some basic research, it looks like the HIPAA compliant Zoom account for personal use is about $149 per year or $12.50 per month. So it is certainly another cost that you have to tack on in addition to using Alamo or any other services that you're currently using. And then another option is to totally switch the platform you're using for telehealth services. So many EHRs now have a telehealth feature built in. I use Simple Practice, they have a telehealth feature built in. I know Therapy Notes has a telehealth feature built in and there's several others as well. And this may require some work for a few reasons. As the therapist, you'll have to learn to use a new system, you'll have to teach your clients how to use a new system. And overall, there's gonna be a learning curve to totally switching over telehealth platforms. So if we review these three options for you moving forward, number one is just to use the Alma telehealth platform and have all the Zoom links automatically translated to Alma telehealth, and then having all your clients on that platform moving forward, that could work. However, there's a couple limitations that I'm now thinking about. If you have clients on Headway or you're doing billing in simple practice, to upload everyone into Alma might 
not work, especially if you have clients using other platforms. The second option we talked about is to just pay for your own personal Zoom account. This is simple enough, but it does incur another cost. And then finally, you can totally switch telehealth platforms and use something that's built into your EHR, something like Simple Practice or Therapy Notes or whatever EHR you're using. Most of them do have a telehealth platform. So this begs the question, what is the best option? Now, first off, I think this is gonna be dependent on what you're looking for. But if I was in your position and I needed to switch telehealth platforms or think about what I was gonna do in the face of losing my Alma-sponsored Zoom account, I would think about a few things. The first thing I would think about is which option is gonna have the most longevity and has the most universal reach. So let me give you an example. If you decide to go with Alma Telehealth, and all of your clients are currently on Alma and you can use Alma as your all-in-one billing tool, well then going with Alma Telehealth works quite well because everything will be under one roof. However, if you're someone who has some clients on Headway because they have certain insurances, some clients on Alma, some clients on Grow, and you can't switch the clients around, then to have some clients on Alma Telehealth and other clients on Headway and other clients on Grow, it's gonna get way too confusing. In those situations, I would recommend using the built-in telehealth tools on your EHR. That way, no matter where you have a client on Alma or Headway, you can still use the same telehealth software. And then from there, you just have to go through the learning curve of learning that new system. Anyway, I just wanted to share some thoughts about this brand new announcement that Alma made. I, it's new for me, just like it's new for you. I'd love to know what you think about it. Leave a comment down below. Until next time though, I'll see you in the next video.